Lord, you will press in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Ruth. You are from Benue State. It was yesterday was my first time to come into Chile. Wow, another first timer. I think it's okay. It's just okay. Clap on to God on the chosen. Clap on to God. Hallelujah. It was police college to see members that invite me coming here. As I'm standing here, I'm a woman that seek for arthritis, waist pain, everything in my body, my womb, my breast will be scratching for 30 years. It's been times I cannot move. People will be moving. Power will be moving. I will be crying. That my, all my body will swell up. Hmm. It got to the point that I have a problem. The doctor now sent me for a test when I go. The, they, I did the test. They say, the doctor now say, Madam, I'm not after your money because your heart has swelled up very big. Hmm. Why everything, if you are a woman, you know your body is itching you, your breast, everything. Hmm. So yesterday when I come here, I was sitting here for a first time. So when the, our daddy came out was preaching, and I saw something hit not on my brain, was rolling in my brain. Hey! What is going on? So the next thing I could see something, a snow was coming out of my body as if it's easy. I was sweating and I get strong and I run to to the altar. Hey, I am the, I was vibrating here. Yesterday, till now, I'm here. I'm very strong than everybody. Power! According to see, we make it for every one of us. And I'm telling to, to see brothers and sisters, they should look me as a choosing brother and sister. And the God of choosing, our daddy prayer should walk to me so that I will dwell in the house of choosing and I will dwell in the house of my Lord. My, the little one I have only goes on my drugs every day for 30 something years. But I'm here, the solo has gone away now. Hey! Just believe in Jesus. Hey! If you're a woman, know how your breast is scratching you, everything about you. Hey! Fire on your body. Power! Thank you. I pray for our daddy. Hey! I ask Jesus Christ embrace you with your wife and your children. He has removed his standard right now, give it to you. He will be with you everywhere and he will be with all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. I need you to clarify. You uh, said yesterday was your first time in the Lord's chosen. Are, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You said yesterday was your first time. Yesterday was my first time of coming to here. And you said those itchings and everything has gone away. You said they've been, they've been there in your body for how long? For 30 years. 30 uh, yes. da days. 30 years. 30 years. If you are a woman, know how your body is scratching you, your breast, everything. Yes. Your womb. 30 years. Your heart, your heart is beating. I can't believe this. You mean your body has been going through this itching, scratching, and for 30 years? Yes. And only one day in chosen. Just a minute. God rolled all of them away. I can't believe this. But this is God of chosen in action. Can you describe for us again what you said happened when Gio came to the pulpit? He said something in the brain was. When Gio came to the pulpit, I was sitting there. And something I was roaring into my brain. What is going on? Hey. I was shivering, sweating, sweating. I could look myself. I was getting strong, sweat was coming out my body. It was through. Something was coming at if it's a smoke. That is why I now get up. I am here now. You can see me. I can do hey. that. I can do hey. that. I can hey. 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 Hey.
answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. Let her hold on, please. Let her hold on. He answers prayer. God, oh chosen, he answers prayer. Oh. God, oh chosen, answers prayer. Oh. God, oh chosen, answers prayer. Oh. God, oh chosen, answers prayer. Oh. He answers prayer. Oh. I didn't want to ask her before because I thought she said 30 days. But now I've confirmed that she said 30 years. And I wanted to know because 30 years crisis, you must have taken it to many places. Are there places you have taken for this crisis, this issue, issue for solution? Yes, I've been going to hospital, like teaching hospital in Kenya. Uh, St. Sabina, uh, uh, St. Louis, Air Force Base Hospital. At times I would go there with pretty. Even last week, I was sitting like this. I saw some things that come to come above my waist. That is how I could not get up. My sister started crying, calling me, Ah, Auntie, come and carry baby now. I could not rise up. Then I called the husband. They take me to the hospital. The treatment they were giving me was a serious one. <laughs> I get released for five days. After five days, the six days I sleep. Something now come and roll in my brain, roll in my brain, go to the back, hook my heart. <laughs> that is how the whole thing came back. <laughs> if I'm under treatment, I will get released for one week. After that, the worst we come will be the worst. Are there churches or other healing homes that you have gone to with this problem? Have you taken this problem to any church? To any I have program? taken it to churches that cat that Catholic church. I'm a Catholic member. Catholic church and some pastors. They will say, "My daughter, hope unto God." When I go, they will say, buy this anointing oil, buy those anointing things, go and use. I use them, they will no help. But I keep on trying. And the God of choosing has made it for me free yesterday. Let's give God a big resounding clap offering. Clap onto this great God. Clap onto this God. My sister, we rejoice with you. We rejoice with you. Go and enjoy your body, your life, and worship this God of chosen. Worship him. What could not be solved for 30 years? In one second, in a breath, Pastor Kante, the pulpit, all of them were knocked away. Oh, I rejoice with everyone. I say congratulations. Your problems will be turned to joy. Clap unto God and appreciate the clap to this great God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. I am so happy that you are here. I'm so happy. We don't know how many years you have suffered from any problem. Today, all of them will turn to joy for you in Jesus' name. The next testifier.